going to be playing another part of Paper Mario Color Splash. Today I am going to play Doodle Level Daffodil Peak. Yeah, sorry for not recording for a long time. My capture card broke, and in the meantime, because I had really had nothing else to do, I was just working on my grades in, my, in school. Because I seriously, I had nothing else to do YouTube related. But in the meantime, I got to play some games. Like, that, I, like, I'm not planning to go do on YouTube. Wait, I'm in the middle of 15. Amazing, did you hear that, Mario? This guy's really wise old sage. He must really know where to find the paint stars. Let's climb the mountain and meet the mountain sage. Cool idea, but if you need a climbing permit, but you need a climbing permit before I can let you climb the mountain. I threw the gate to your right and buy a permit from the park ranger. You'll find him in his cabin. Here, I'll open the gate. Well, it didn't magically open like I thought it would, but it opened. So let's see how far this thing really up. Whoa. That's really close. Anyway, so as I was saying, um, I was I was just playing some games I really didn't have time for YouTube, but like I never like I don't want to do it for YouTube. Like, it's just games I just wanted to play. Hmm, what's with what's with this place? Mood seems kind of gloomy. Is this the park ranger that the gatekeeper mentioned? Maybe he's one of those emo types. Oh, hey. Need a climbing permit? Yes, sir. We'd like to climb Daffodil Peak and meet the mountain sage. Yeah, look. I'm sorry, but I'm not really in the mood. My cabin is a wreck. Vandal's broken and drained the color everywhere. I'm too depressed to do my job. We understand. These color spots are a real downer. I'd be depressed, too. Mario, this guy's really bringing me down. Think we can fix this place up a bit? And so as the paint hero we I am, or Mario is, let's paint this place up. Let's paint this musicless place. Wow, like, this place kind of reminds me of that place from Platinum. Like, tell me in the comments below, what place in a video game, like a Nintendo game, scared you to, like, is, like weirded you out or creeped you out the most? Because like this th this place kind of reminds me of that Pokemon that church area from Pokemon Platinum is that is it even a church though like I don't know who knows it's like one of the most mysterious areas in a uh, Pokemon other than the <laughs> Lumios Ghost Girl so let's get this up I really like the wall here it's like piranha plant themed. So let's see. We still have the clock. I could see it's like, like thing, like that swings. It's like not good. So now we fix that up. What's this? I see a block in the background. Whoa! Oh scrap! This is an unfloor block. Hitting an unfloor block grants you the power to unfloor certain objects, but only for a limited time. While your unfloor power is active, just hammer things to bear to unfloor mark to. Well, unfloor them. Come to think of it, it wasn't there. What wasn't there something within the same mark inside the cabin? Yeah, it was the box I just hammered. <laughs> so now, whoops, sorry, Toad. Once you, if you, you have to hammer the mark, that's, that's all you have to do. That's a fancy chair. Oh, this is my favorite chair. Somehow must have got folded into a plain old box. Nice and flaring, Mario. All I did was hit it with a hammer. But they must have also drained the color from it. What a shame. It was my favorite chair ever. Hey, look, I can still sit on it, but I can still paint it. Oh, it's a red. That's cool. That's actually pretty cool. Woo! Woo! My cabin! I can't believe it! Let me pick all this up. There we go. Mario, you fixed my place! Thanks so much! My heart and cabin are back to their bright, happy selves. Especially that toad painting. And as a thank you, here! 
Oh, cool, I can move. No wonder he likes that chair. It's just climbing permit. They'll usually run you a pretty penny, but this one's on the house, so to speak. Oh, cool. I get my own free climbing permit. Wait, how, how is there a permit to climb a mountain, though? This is weird. Wonderful, thanks, sir. I'm glad we could help. I actually feel a lot better, too. Sorry, sorry if you heard a little something. I was just adjusting my headset. So, whoop! So, let's get back to the guy who told us we need a mountain permit. What? Like, how, how does one need a permit to climb a mountain, though? So, we hand it in? Ah, you get the climbing permit. I'm a bit surprised you got one, considering the park ranger has been rather down in the dumps. Anyway, l let me start my spiral over. It <laughs> helps me remember my lines. Ahem. <laughs> Welcome to Daffodil Peak, home of the legendary mountain sage. You'll find the sage at the peak of the mountain. Alright, I'll open the mountain path. Um, he didn't really need to say it twice. No, but this is a nice comedic effect. It's, it's, I also find it kind of cool how, like, um, the, it's all in, like, boxes. Now, hammer. Now I'm gonna show off this enemy. I just want, I just feel like it. And... It's gonna send another one, which is good, because that's why I got my hammer, or a hammer, whichever. So I'm gonna paint the hammer, flick it, and we're gonna play. And, what? It didn't have that effect? Anyways, uh, since I don't have any more, like, hammer cards, I'm gonna do battle spin. I don't really have any other, like, hammer card so yes fire flower I already have another fire flower all right well uh, I did it for no reason so. oh come on yes all right I think I know what I need to do but at the same time I don't so, I think I need to charge it. Oh, what? Alright, now it needs another. No! Fine, whatever. So, let's do battle spin. Oh, we got some good stuff in the battle spin. And a hammer! Alright! Hammer, you are gonna do good. And you're gonna fly. Sorry if you heard that. That was my bird. Like, I have a bird. He's noisy, though. This is, like, it's a noisy. I have a noisy bird. Sorry if you're hearing it, though. It's just how noisy he is. So, let's climb this wart pipe. Hopefully, nothing will attack me. Whoa. Okay. Okay. To attack. Um, I want to do it. Yes, KO hammer. So yes, we can go down the mount. We can wait up to wait. What? Well, now I know it's inside a warp pipe. It's so black with the light. Anyway, since there's one, I'm gonna use a new KO hammer I got, or the KO hammer I just got out of the question mark block, whichever. So. Wait, why didn't it fling around like the entire stage? All right, fine. No, 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 don't attack. Uh, there's something up, I see. No, okay, fine. Oh, uh, I don't wanna. I don't want to now. I have to, because I don't want to. Why though? I'll just have to. Oh, wait, I forgot. Dang. Alright, I forgot. Battle spin. And I'm ready. Hammer. Alright, fine. 
I'll have to do another battle spin later. Like when I'm done with the paratroopa. Here we go. And it's red. There we go. Okay. We're good. Just a little bit more. We are done. For another battle spin, I hope it's like a fire flower or ice flower, flower or something. Oh. Uh -oh. Yes! Fan replica. The almighty fan is a replica. Wait, are it's, wait it's already fan? I didn't know it was already fan. Sorry. Sorry, replica card. I didn't know it was light color as a paint. But as you see, with replica cards, it has replica, like, all over the screen. Like, when I first saw this on the internet, I was like, what? What's the point of replica cards, though? But I, I kind of get it, because it's basically, like, the battle spin version of the regulars. But I believe it does, like, way less damage. So anyways, we have defeated... Paratroopa, for no reason, he just like decided to like barge in. So now, wait, question mark. Oh, really? All right, we got an E camera, like the one of the most useless. Like, I think it's one of the most useless items in the game. So if it's not, don't blame me if you want to. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, cause I, I really think it's one of the weakest items in the entire game. No! You are not allowed to hurt me. Oh no. Okay, it's one of those. It's one of them. Huh? What's your deal? Uh, I fell off a cliff and increased my leg. It's pretty bad. Uh, let's see if we can help him. Alright, so just, you can, you just gotta hammer his foot. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Oh, Mario, you fixed my leg. Thanks. Code number one of the purple rescue squad reporting for duty. Now, if you excuse me, I must report to my squad meter and leader and ready road immediately. Why did I say meter though? <laughs> so, let's go back to where we were. Because we had to make a pit stop for that, for purple toad. And we're just gonna go back to where we were, not stop for the purple toad again, because he already left. And... Alright. No! Not today. So, okay. I see what this is. Is this, like, the introduction of these? Like, I don't, I don't know. So we're just gonna go down this pipe, because it's the only available thing. And what do you know? Wait, I like doing this. <laughs> oh, that's what it does. Okay, I didn't really know it would do anything. Oh, there's an unfloor block. Block. There must be something around here with an unfloor mark on it. Let's look. Let's look around for it. And jump, run! Cause we gotta hit that pipe. You have to hit the unfloor mark. I actually. I actually tried it before, it didn't work. It's actually pretty cool. So let's enter it. Why did that remind me of like Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Metropolis Zone? <laughs> anyway, what's this? I'm serious, what is that? I don't know what that is. So back to where we were. Goomba! Look, Kamek! Mario, I didn't expect to see you here. I'd love to stick around and sweep the floor with you, but I got places to be, lives to ruin, you know how it is for us big wigs. But I suppose I could leave you with a little taste of my Koopa magics. Oh no, what's it gonna do to the bottom screen? Basically what she does here is that she turns um, all of your sticker, like not stickers, uh, no, like cards into worn out jumps. That's all she does. It isn't as bad as Sticker Star, where she turns all of your stickers of be into flip flops. That was annoying. Let's be honest. That was actually pretty annoying. And go. And 
last Goomba. Alright. And we're back. Boom, 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 and boom. He's done for. Like, I only, I'm surprised how even, like, a uh, worn out jump can defeat a Goomba. It's worn out. That's kind of cool how it's set up. Anyways, I think we made it to the end of it. Oh, no. No, it's, no, we didn't. All right. I know there's an floor block there. I think I know what I need to do. I know I don't. All right, so I'm gonna go to that on floor block. Up, oh, another fight. Ugh. Dang it! Well, dang it! I only have mushrooms. So what I'm gonna do is I don't want to do another battle spin. Is pull up. Wait, I can't. I'm, I didn't sneeze. Why did I not sneeze? Anyways, it's time for the ne lemon because I don't want to do another like battle spin. That takes too much. That takes a lot. Wow. Okay, that was that was actually a lot. What I'm gonna do is that because I saw. Wait, no. I don't, I know what I'm gonna do. I don't want to do this first. Oh, I didn't know you could do this. Oh, it's one of those things. All right, time to take this. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong one. Wait, no, what am I saying? I can go on top of it. I don't really know what the unfloor block is used for. Well, I'm gonna uncolor this. Ah, that's what it is for. Uh, I got finished on coloring this. There we go. Unfleur. Oh, there's an unfleur mark here. I see a toad. I'm not sure if I can trust it, though. I'm not saying I'm racist against toads, but I'm saying that's not... Wait, like, so maybe I should trust it. I don't know. Anyway, so basically, gimmick here is that whatever, whichever pipe you see, you're gonna end up in that area. That's basically all that's going on. Now I could just jump off there and just end a level, but I want to see what this does. So um, I, I don't really know. No, 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 wrong one. Come on. Dang, okay, that was a little too, that was a little too quick. So, I'm gonna try that again. Yeah, I'm gonna try that again. So, I'm gonna go to this pipe now. And now I'm gonna hit the unfloor block. No, I do not have the time. There we go! I knew it was going to turn into a pipe. So let's see where this goes. Hey, where are you? Oh, is he the sage? Yeah, he is. Oh ho, well met, Mario. I am the mount sa I am the mountain sage of Daffodil Peak. Haha, <laughs> just playing. I'm just a regular old soul. Toad, sorry to get your hopes up. I paid all that money for a permit and busted my shroom all the way up here for nothing. But on the bright side, I did get to see those mini paint star things. And you can't believe the view from up here. Anyway, happy trails! Shenanigans, we've been had! Mario, let's give the gatekeeper a piece of our mind. After we grab the mini paint star, of course. So, what does Mario look? What does... <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Only your not fit, fits through Mario. That's just weird. It looks, this is, never mind, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> Anyways, course clear! And this is, 
like when I get out of like when I get back to world map it's not gonna end I am going to go to ruddy road and I'm gonna finish it off at the other exit of ruddy road oh are you kidding me <laughs> so it's all just a big loop now okay so now I'm gonna go back to ruddy road and go to that secret exit or something I don't know it's just like it's like one of those secret exit things that you see in like the first level where like you have that access to another power up from a different thing. Let's go to Daffodil Peak. Oh, we have to go to Alright, fine. So after we go to the After the gatekeeper, we're gonna go to Ruddy Road. <laughs> Sorry it's taking so much so long. This is like bleh. Sorry, it's just taking forever. So if it so if we have to do the other paint star then we're just then we'll just have to like I'll have to do it another part. Let's go to Daffodil Peak and give that line gatekeeper a piece of our mind. Or you can just edit it and put it in a part of the episode. I'm just saying. Alright! Oh no! Hey liar face! This is no mountain sage, you just made it up to sell tickets to your boring mountain. Whoa, whoa, keep your lid on. The mountain sage isn't real. I'm disappointed as you are. What? You thought it was real too? Yes, I believed in my heart of hearts that the mountain sage was real. Though I can't remember why I was so convinced. Come to think of it, I can't remember anything before accepting this gatekeeper job. The last thing I remember the park ranger was, was bringing me here after he stranded me on the mountaintop. And, and that was the ranger who said the mountain sage was real. Do you think he lied to us? Hold on a minute, I didn't lie to anyone. There is a mountain sage here. I've seen him with my own eyes. Really? Because we hiked all the way to the peak and we found some cheesy carnival cutout. Hey, kids love that cutout. So look, I haven't seen a sage in a while, but he used to train on the mountaintop. You've got to believe me, if the, rumor, if, if the rumors get out that I made it to the mountain sage thing, my business is good, done for. Mm, I don't know. I believe... These guys are telling the truth, Mario. I'm not lying, swear on my pores. Now just keep this thing quiet and try to find the mountain sage. Now, I wonder what happened to the mountain sage. My mind's a complete blank. I got no idea. Well, maybe it's because he, his top got no color. Eureka, I remembered everything. The color missing from my head must have damaged my, mes my memory. I am one of the chosen toads, the divine few and with great power. I spent my days training on the mountaintop, waiting for my destiny to take shape. You train on the mountaintop? So that means... Yes, I am the sage of the mountain. Great, so there really is a mountain sage. But who... You lost your memory? There isn't... You are still able to use the power of the chosen toads? Good question, young one. That's cool, he teleported. Behold the power of the chosen! He is the last one of the key toads. That's so cool. No, seriously, that is so cool. Usually, we toads aren't meant to use our power for such savagery. But I have some aggression to work out today. They must have snuck up and drained my head while I was meditating. Does miscreants. Well, color me impressed. Remind me to stay on your good side. Hey, now do you know anything about the big paint stars? We're looking for them. The world is vast, young one, and I am but a toad. I've seen no such paint stars, but it is a, but it is a cho chosen toad's duty to serve those in need. Our paths are crossed in reason. There's no doubt about that. Perhaps I am the key to unlocking your true potential. No, it turns out I'm just a key to unlocking some random door. Well, okay, I guess. I'll meet you at the Crimson Tower, young one. That's actually pretty cool. So now we can go back to Ruddy Road and see what the Purple Toads are gonna do. Well, I guess I've been demoted thanks to Ton Mountain Sage. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going back to Ruddy Road. 
but man, this this episode's taking a while. <laughs> so now we're gonna go back to Ruddy Road, and we're gonna see that other exit. Yeah, <laughs> this episode's being way longer than I thought it would be. I didn't know we had to go back. I thought this was just like those things. So let's go back to the other exit of Ruddy Road where all the purple toads are. Um, let's, we're almost there. I know it's been like forever since I've been here. So I think we're here. I think, I think, yeah, we're here. Now, I, we are here. Roll call. One, two, three. All purple squaddies present and accounted for. Yeah, only because Mario caught them slacking off. Oh uh, yes, and it looks like we needed to help out Mario now. Purple rescue codes, commence operation, step it up. You're on, Mario. What? Uh. <laughs> they made a staircase. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Mario, you should be able to scale the cliff now. Go for it. Woo! Now. <laughs> this head pull hard. We made it to the fire thing. What is it called? A fire? Oh yeah, fire extinguisher. Why did I call it the fire extinguisher? Though this is weird. Why did I call it that? <laughs> Anyways, we've made it to the exit of Ruddy Road. Next episode, we will be taking on Crimson Tower. After like 40 episodes, I'm just kidding, it's about like 6 or 7, I don't know. So we're just, really? You gotta be kidding. Wow, okay. I'm, <laughs> I give up. <laughs> anyway, so next time on Paper Mario Color Splash, we will be taking on Crimson Tower. I am Rekadar. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for any games I should play, please tell me in the comments below. I am Rekadar, and goodbye.